Let's just say that the president's tweets are all anyone is talking about. Pity, because there's plenty of good economic news that most, at least today, we're not talking about, including retail sales soaring in June. And company earnings, though still early in the process, handily beating estimates for the latest quarter. And a string of records for the Dow, even though we were denied one today, it's the tweets that everyone is focused on today. So, uh, Courtney, ended with you, begin with you. How much is this sidetrack on on the tweets, uh, getting apart from the racist uh, charges and all, uh, hurting what would otherwise be a pretty solid message he could crow about and indeed tweet about? Yeah, I think to your point, Neil, there's so much good data on the economy right now. And I think investors are going to be able to overlook any tweets that are happening or any kind of major headlines. At the end of the day, the consumer is still really strong, and we're seeing that with all the data that's continuing to come out. And our consumer is going to stop spending money because of these tweets. I highly doubt it, and I really think that we're going to continue to see this economy go strong going forward. Yeah, but uh, there is a sense with him that, Court, I don't know if you agree, this is, you know, what we get. This is the guy who speaks his mind, says things that, that strike many as offensive and then some, but it, it doesn't hurt his economic performance, doesn't hurt the, 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 the kind of stuff that he believes Republicans believe will ultimately help them triumph again. What do you think of that? Yeah, I think it's going to be, I can't really speak on the politics of it and what's going to happen in the election, but when I look at the economy going forward, I do continue to, continue to see really strong news. Something we're not talking about, which we have been for many weeks and we're all a little sick of, is things like the trade war with China. And right. as some of those other things get figured out, that can even be a higher catalyst to bring the markets further. And as a good economy leads up to the election, I could see that being a positive sign. But I'm, I'm very bullish on where the economy is going. I don't see any true signs of a recession in the near future. All right, guys, I want to thank you very much.